Welcome one, welcome all to the happiest place on earth. For the next couple of weeks, I'm your host, your Lego YouTuber turned Disney trip host, Stop and Play Productions. As we take a trip across three parks, the Swan and Dolphin Hotel, and Downtown Disney. Oops, did I say Downtown Disney? I meant Disney Springs. Shows you how long I've been going to Disney. Anyways, pack your suitcases and let's get started. And we're here, the Dolphin Hotel. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Past the revolving doors and kids excited to be at Disney, we're greeted with a grand ceiling. And if you thought that was interesting, wait till you see the lobby. A grand fountain featuring the signature dolphin and above it hundreds if not thousands of pieces of glass hanging above it. A beautiful sight, no doubt. And if you're feeling a little peckish at any time, why not stop by and fuel up? They have a nice assortment of snacks, sandwiches, and they'll even cook a pizza for you. Although be warned, we found out the hard way that they don't accept Disney cards here. I think that about covers the lobby. Let's make our way out back where we can take a look at everything this hotel has to offer. Oops, other side. There you go. Once outside to your right, you get a grand view of both the Swan Reserve and Swan Hotels. While to your left, the boardwalk that is accessible with just a little walk. And peeking from behind back there, in the back, that's Epcot, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. But the real spectacle is the giant dolphin fountain featured at our hotel, and the triangle shape of our building. Interesting fact, the Dolphin Hotel is the tallest structure in Walt Disney World, coming in at 257 feet tall. One great thing about living in the Dolphin Hotel is that you're connected to the Swan Hotel by a beautiful path that lights up at night and the lights dance to the music. Since we're here, let's take a look around at the Swan. Their lobby is not as spectacular as the Dolphin Hotel, only featuring a small fountain. But you do get some outside seating areas that feature the same fountain arrangement. If you fancy yourself something for supper, you can always stop by the Swan's Garden Grove and Caminos. I did not have the pleasure of eating in either of these places, but they look spectacular. The pools was also very nice at the Swan and Dolphin. You could enjoy a nice swim in a tropical oasis or your standard nice looking pool. I don't know about y'all, but the tropical oasis is the winner for me. Something I did notice while walking around is that you can actually rent a swan paddle boat. My question is, where's the dolphins? I mean, sure, we've got the bigger building, the bigger fountain, a cooler outside, but we don't get a paddle boat? Come on, Disney, that's just disrespectful. 
Well, we've come full circle back to our hotel. Let's head up to the room and take a look at what we've got. Our room was a standard room with two beds. Although we could pop open the window and have access to the roof. And in the distance, Hollywood Studios. Now you know you're staying at a fancy hotel when they leave you bottled water. Not to mention it's the Sunny. Last but not least, the bathroom area. Well, I think that about covers it. I've taken you up and down the halls of the Dolphin, down the street to the Swan. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the first vlog here at Walt Disney World. We'll be diving into the magic of Magic Kingdom in our next vlog. If you ended up enjoying the video, leave a like, comment down below, and be sure to subscribe so that you're not missing a thing. This is your host, Stop and Play Productions, signing off. Bye-bye!